There's where I'm gonna sit in those pines over there. Here I am out after work the last week of archery season after that buck jumped my string yesterday. I uh, get down here tonight sitting in a field where I'm gonna have an opportunity to have a doe come close enough to me so I can redeem myself a bit and uh, just kind of enjoy a beautiful night this last week of archery season before it comes ramps up this weekend. hard to believe it's the uh, last week of archery it's Thursday night I will not hunt on Friday I'll use Friday to have a date night with my girl and uh, change all my archery stuff over to my gun stuff I'm going out one more evening here uh, to see if I can either get a doe or cash in on a buck deer that you see out in the field right now the back of that field is all about a 50 year old pine plantation super super thick and they simply bed in the pines and walk 10 feet right out into the field to feed so tough to hunt them there though because your wind is blowing back into their bedding area or your wind is blowing out into the area they're feeding well that puts a wrap on the 2023 archery season nine o'clock and I have seen zero deer this morning. Super quiet out. Tons of birds flying around. Beautiful sunrise. But I haven't seen a deer. came through from the top three came through and I could see there was a buck behind him he came I was gonna get a nice easy shot because they were just taking their time right he was taking their time and he got down there and freaking jumped them they all started running <laughs> sprinted across the opening here and he, he sprinted into the opening and I I bladded like I did I got the butter at that right point. Blah! he stopped done that's where he came. Down that. Did you see him all the way down here, or did I didn't you see, see him? At all. No. I shot and he disappeared. Deer ran across there, uh -huh. about under the tree stand. That's about where they were. I thought, well, he's going to go down there and die, or he's going to run out of the curve. <laughs> he's going to shoot. <laughs> he's not nearly as tall as those other ones that I uh -huh. saw that had. They were thicker and taller. But right. But yeah, he's definitely a three-year-old. Yeah, he's absolutely. Kind of nice big body. Yeah. Get up in there. There he is. Oh. <laughs> psyched at Steve got a buck I came over here to the other side of the road ended up seeing two buck and eight doe and uh, now I'm heading home not gonna hunt this afternoon uh, do some stuff with my girl and then uh, probably hunt all day tomorrow this buck's still out there man it's been a grind but it's gonna happen I know it is I just got to keep working interesting I don't know how many doe but 
somewhere around 18, were all around me. I had eyes all over me because you try to move in this blind and it creaks. They ended up feeding in the grass field below me. They ended up browsing above me. Some of them went uphill. Some of them went downhill. Some of them went across the hill. Kept hoping for a buck to pop out, but no buck this morning. Just a pile of dough. Just another one of those challenges when you think about just grinding it out all season. The unexpected sometimes occurs. You gotta be ready for it. Hey folks, after opening weekend of uh, seeing a million doe and only two small bucks, been to work for a couple days and stayed before Thanksgiving. Uh, family was all home last night. They're all sleeping in this morning. So I'm sneaking out here Wednesday morning. Uh, it's been raining for the past 12 hours and the rain is just stopping right now. I got up a little bit late. Um, I didn't want to sit in that rain for you know half hour, 45 minutes. So I'm going to get there right about the time it's starting to get light, hoping that the rain's going to stop and deer are going to get up and get moving. And uh, hope I see a buck this morning. So wish me luck. This doe knows something is up. She can definitely smell me. My scent is kind of going a little bit uphill and also across the hill in that direction. But no matter how many times she looked at me, she didn't catch me moving, so she didn't bolt. But they definitely knew something was up. They kept looking behind them, and I kept hoping that they were going to look up behind and see a buck. But no such luck. 11 doe this morning. Zero buck. Nice morning out. Gonna go enjoy the rest of the day with the family today. Kids are home from college. And uh, enjoy Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow and we'll get back at it later this weekend. Cold, cold man, it's 28 degrees. Got 25 mile an hour winds from the west northwest. And uh, I'm heading down into a valley that kind of protects deer from the wind a little bit. and. Uh, See if I can get down there and uh, get into this stand and uh, hope to find either a, a big mature doe or a buck coming out to feed before dark tonight. Wow. I walked down along the edge of those bushes and shrubs and there was a a buck and a doe back here against the woods. The buck was just staring at me and um, gave me plenty enough time to get down onto my knee. I didn't feel comfortable, um, so I slowly got down on my butt, got my knee up in front of me, got a real solid rest, took my time with my breathing, and um, felt real comfortable with a shot. And uh, it's tough with a GoPro because it's so far away, but I could see his tail flick and uh, we'll go ahead and I'm um, pretty confident that I had a good shot so we'll give him about a half hour and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go up to where I shot and see if we can find any blood or hair and uh, start tracking from there but <laughs> not a monster buck but man it's it's been a long season and you know I've had some opportunities at some deer that I screwed up and I really took my time on this one I didn't want to screw this one up so just keep second guessing and doubting myself this year so until I have this buck in my hands I, I'm not going to be totally confident that it's mine but I'm pretty psyched right now man pretty psyched it's freezing cold I didn't want to be out here too long and uh, that may have worked out just about perfect
great day. Saw a deer on public this morning. Saw a deer on private this afternoon. Here it is, last afternoon of New York State gun season. I'm heading out to sit in my hut and I'm hoping that this rain is gonna subside. And I'm gonna get some deer to come out and feed. It's been a long season. Hopefully I get a deer tonight. There was two doe in the field that were laying down and there was three that were feeding. So I walked back on the other side of this brush to this opening and I crawled on my belly all the way up behind that tree. Got behind that tree and there was no place to shoot behind that tree. So I sat down and crawled on my belly all the way out to here. And then it took me five minutes to get my scope dried off because I couldn't see anything through it because it was totally fogged up from the wet. I kept going back and forth trying to figure out which was the biggest doe and finally figured out that the one that the furthest away was so she started coming my way fortunately so I let her come in and uh, get fairly close and uh, once she came in close enough and got broadside I got my scope dried off and I was able to pull up and it was so uncomfortable because I had no rest I was trying to get my arms underneath it took my time slowed my breathing down pulled the trigger back very slowly I think I got a pretty damn good shot on her. I saw her tail flicking as she was running away. And then uh, in the bushes in there, I heard a bunch of branches breaking. So we'll wait a couple minutes and we'll see how it goes. She didn't run 50 yards. Had a monster doe, but the biggest of the doe that were there. Meet in the freezer, baby. Thank you very much. Out here on the farm this afternoon, sitting in a field where the deer have been coming out to feed in the evenings, looking to see if I can get a big doe. And, uh, still chasing a decent buck this year. Only two weeks left to muzzle odor, and then deer season's over, so I'm running out of time. Just got a little blind set up here in front of me. Shooting stick there on this knoll is usually where they end up feeding and they come out over here to the right. The wind's right in my face. Just as long as I can get that sun down before they come out. I don't think that sun will reflect off my glasses or my cameras. We're in muzzleloader season here, We're getting close to the end. A week and a half from Christmas. And uh, I'm still out here trying to see if I can get a decent buck this year, but I got one more doe tag, one more buck tag, so I'm out tonight to see if I can uh, shoot a big mature doe on the edge of a field. I know where they've been feeding. I got the wind in my face, and now I'm just sitting tight for about an hour and a half here. Usually they don't come out until like the last half hour, so I got about an hour and 15 minutes to sit here, chill, enjoy the sunshine, and uh, relax. It's amazing, 30 plus years of hunting, I've only shot maybe six or eight deer off the ground. And this year, all three of the deer that I've shot, a doe during archery and a buck and a doe uh, during gun, I've all shot from the ground. Tails deer hunting. This is the last day I get out for muzzleloader season prior to Christmas. So I hustled out of work. I got about 45 minutes of light to sit out in the stand and uh, see what I can see. Here we go. Well, I hustled in, but there was four doe that were bedded about 50 yards near my stand. Um, I didn't have a choice. It was either I was going to sit there and wait it out or I was just going to jump in real quick and uh, spook them and hopefully uh, I see a buck over the next 40 minutes or so before it's dark. We'll see. It's been raining for 24 hours now. It just stopped about three hours ago 
and uh, I'm sure the deer need to get out and feed. So cross your fingers, we got a buck coming tonight. Guys, I think that's gonna wrap up 2023 hunting season for me. Uh, ended up filling my doe tags and uh, shooting a small six point the last week of gun season. Uh, overall, uh, not what I expected. I really had hoped I'd get a bigger buck. Always fun to be out in the woods, whether I'm getting deer or not. Some years you're a little bit luckier and some years you're not. Uh, this year, I feel as though I'm still lucky putting meat in the freezer. And I enjoyed everything I did in the fall, learned a ton, and look forward to next season. Hey guys, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I'm telling you guys to have a great day. See ya!